Before you go out, we have just one, uh, one quick thing that we need to do and then we'll take our break. If you could uh, start the video, please. I first met Patty as, uh, as, uh, as she was a spouse of, her, her, of my patient. Um, her husband had been diagnosed with advanced cholangiocarcinoma. What impressed me about her was her level of organization. Uh, through the two-year course uh, of her husband's journey, uh, she had a mastery over his schedule, when uh, his, her stents would be changed, what medications he was on, when the next lab would be drawn, when he would see the pain clinic. Really, it made our job so much easier. And I asked Patty uh, if she would be interested in uh, working with the Colangio Foundation uh, on the Colangio Connect program. Patty is involved so deeply in the Colangio Carcinoma Foundation. She's a board member. She took a idea and turned it into a thriving program. Patty's commitment to the Colangio Connect program has fundamentally impacted countless um, people um, from, from patients to caregivers um, and volunteers alike uh, to uh, fundamentally change the way that those of us who have been affected by cholangiocarcinoma navigate this uncertain world. Many of us want to give back. We, we've been so blessed. Is there a way for us to give back? So I called Patty and I said, I want to give back. How do I do that? It wasn't a week after I finished the training that she called me and said, okay, you ready for your first mentee? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm ready. And it was a couple weeks after that, she goes, do you think you can handle another one? And I'm like, absolutely. It's wonderful that we have this incredible, incredible close community. Um, and that is largely thanks to Patty and her, her tireless work of, uh, you know, matching mentees and mentors and, and the work she does on the board for the Colangio Foundation. There were times when she would get 30 or 40 referrals in a day. Uh, I believe she has helped close to 900 or 1,000 patients. To say that Patty has had an impact on my life is an understatement. She came into my life when I really needed someone like her. She has dedicated her whole life to Clangio Carcinoma and the Clangio Carcinoma Foundation. She is such a great example of making the world a more beautiful place, having come through a tragedy with her husband, Mike. So grateful for Patty. We're so grateful for everything that she has done. She has made all of our lives better and her legacy will continue on for a long, long time. Patty, could you could you join me, please? So, thank you so much. I think the the hallmark of being an amazing volunteer is when you the organization that you volunteer with has to hire a full time person to take your place. Patty has um, with absolute love and dedication helped others to, to mentor. So today she is receiving this certificate. It's signed by President Biden. It's with the President's Lifetime Achievement Award for life, a lifelong commitment to building a stronger nation through volunteer service. So it is the Lifetime Presidential Achievement Award. And then she is also receiving this beautiful piece of artwork, um, which is a tree, and it is signed by hundreds of volunteers that she has trained to help each other, both caregivers and mentors. Over 900 pairs have been made, and one of the most joyous things about this conference is to see these mentees and mentors meet for the first time, many of them who have been just connecting virtually through, all through COVID, but to see them sitting and having meals together and just knowing that, that they have shared this journey together and that Patty made that happen. So, Thank you. 
I'm very honored. It has been a privilege. I'm still gonna be a mentor. I'm just not gonna be doing the program. But doing the program has been such an inspiration because those who volunteer, even when they're doing treatment, they serve as such an inspiration. They, they're gold. I mean, they give so much of themselves. And it's just an honor to be in their presence. Thank you. We'll, we'll start the program back at 10, so please go take a break, visit the exhibitors, get something to ha eat. <laughs>